Am I the asshole for telling my boyfriend he ruined our date? I, F21, and my boyfriend, M23, of five years went to my favorite restaurant a few weeks ago. The meal was great and we both really enjoyed ourselves. It was perfect, a completely perfect dinner. I paid the $60 check and we went out to the parking lot to the car. I live in a huge college town along with that Saturday night being a senior ball so the town was busy. We get back to the car and the cars surrounding it was parked exactly the same as they were when we went in. There were cars to each side of his car along with a truck parallel parked behind him at least two car lengths away. In front of him was the wall of the restaurant and behind him was the roadway in the parking lot then the parallel parked truck at a distance to clarify. He starts to back out of the space and after a few tries he says he can't do it. I say instantly I can spot him so he can get out. He says no and that it won't help him because the truck behind him wasn't there when he pulled into the spot and he was scared of hitting it. It was there when he pulled into the spot. He also added he doesn't want others to see me spotting him like he can't handle his vehicle. I say okay, I'll go into the restaurant and find the owner of one of the car and ask if there was any way they would move so he could get out. Didn't want to but it was the only choice. He says no and kinda flips his shit, throwing his hat and sunglasses into the dash in frustration and also flooring it as if he's going to hit the building then slamming on the brake before he does so. He calls his parents screaming about not being able to get out of the spot and even locked my door when I tried to get out of the vehicle to go get someone else to help, spot him. Also when he is on the phone the owner of one of the neighboring cars comes outside. I tried to tell him that we talked to her but he ignored me and kept complaining to his parents how there was no way we were getting out of the spot. The owner of the neighboring car gets in another car and leaves while my boyfriend gets off the phone and says, guess we're stuck. The screaming and me begging him to just let me spot him continues for 20 minutes and he makes a few jabs that I don't have a license so I wouldn't understand how he feels. At that point I was really upset and in tears. I had just taken him out to dinner and spent a pretty good amount of money for him to show his ass. Finally he lets me out of the car to spot him and within two minutes we are out of the spot. Later that night I told him that he ruined the night and the dinner I paid for for absolutely no reason. I also added that he always has to find a way to destroy any date or thing in general I want to do just because it's not something he picks. He said that what happened was my fault because I should have have not spoken to him because it made him more frustrated when he was trying to find a solution to the problem. Am I the asshole here? Not the asshole location flag location flag location flag. He locked you in a car because he was mad. That is absurd and abusive. WTF. Then he gaslights you and says it's your fault. GDFO. You even paid. He had one job. Don't be a mean word. Definitely not the asshole so many red flags his ego couldn't handle a female spotting him rather be stranded than accept your help whines to mummy and daddy rather than accept his partner's help pouts and ruins nights if it's not his pick invalidates how you feel lashes out in anger throwing shit. Rethink if this is what you want in a partner. Repeat this until you're ready to dump him. My boyfriend locks me in the car when he's upset. My boyfriend locks me in the car when he's upset. My boyfriend locks me in the car when he's upset. My boyfriend locks me in the car when he's upset. My boyfriend locks me in the car when he's upset. Not the asshole but holy god please leave this person. I'm very unclear on how his finding a solution involved him calling his mommy and daddy instead of just letting you spot him or just backing the car out however slowly it took him. Like, seriously, did he want his parents to drive to the restaurants and do it for him? Not the asshole. Not the asshole your boyfriend's behavior is alarming. My ex would always find a way to ruin a good time like this too. He would pick imaginary fights just so I would get upset and my day would be ruined. I wished I would have noticed his behavior sooner and left the relationship a lot sooner than I did. Think long and hard about whether you want to deal with this type of behavior. Hun, leave. Please. If he can have a meltdown over a mundane problem, how much more when something more serious happens to you? And he even tried to blame you for it. Not the asshole but you will be on yourself if you stay. Not the asshole. He always has to find a way to destroy any date or thing in general I want to do. Just because it's not something he picked, is this a guy you really want to be dating? Is this someone you see a future with? And hash x200b. You sound like a very nice young lady. He sounds like an immature boy. You can do so much better than him. And hash x200b. Go find someone who makes you happy. That is a s good as you deserve and hash x200b. Good luck. Not the asshole.
But why have you put up with this for five years? You know this isn't going to get better, right? Am I the asshole for wearing the same color dress as the bridesmaids at my brother's wedding? My brother, 34, is married his girlfriend, 29, last weekend. She is a girl I went to high school with, although she was a few grades older than me. We had some bad history in school, she and her friends were not the nicest people. Definitely mean girls, especially to underclassmen. I wasn't thrilled when she started dating my brother a few years ago, but I live a few hours away so I haven't had to interact with her much. When my brother proposed, I wasn't expecting to be in the wedding. His girlfriend has a lot of friends from high school still and I assumed they would be her bridesmaids. I was right. No big deal, I didn't want to be in the wedding party at all. I was relieved. Being so far away and on the groom's side, I didn't have a lot of details about the wedding. I hadn't been able to make the bridal shower and when I would ask my brother for any details about the wedding, he would respond that he wasn't sure. Typical guy response. All I really knew was the date and the venue. Very upscale place. The invite said black tie, so I chose a long, one-shoulder silk dress in navy. It wasn't overly fancy but seemed appropriate for the venue. Fast forward to the wedding. I made the three-hour drive the morning of and arrived at the venue about a few hours before the wedding, to visit with my family who I don't get to see often. While I was talking to my mom, my future Sil came out of her dressing room to also talk to my mom. She barely glanced at me, frowned and disappeared back into the room. I didn't think much of it, we have never gotten along. Not a minute later, her high school BFF came out of the room and walked straight up to me. She told me that the bride was upset that I had chosen to wear the same color as her bridesmaids and she wanted me to change. Only the bridesmaids were supposed to wear navy. I looked at the dress the friend was wearing and we looked nothing alike, aside from the color. I told her that while I understood that this was the bride's day, I had driven three hours to be there and I didn't have another dress. I wasn't changing. She said I was being selfish and pathetic, trying to look like part of the wedding party and people would be confused if I wore navy. I told her no one would be confused, it wasn't a rule that people couldn't wear the same color as bridesmaids and I wasn't changing. She left in a huff. Minutes later, my brother found me and asked me to change. I told him the same thing I told the friend. He said I should do what the bride asked because it's her day and I'm causing her stress. All the bridesmaids came out and basically ridiculed me, saying I was pathetic and a loser for pretending to be in the wedding party. I got upset and ended up leaving. No one stopped me. My mom called me the next day and said I should have just done what was asked because it was my brother's day and I had caused drama. I disagree. So, Reddit, am I the asshole? I am currently refusing to talk to my brother and his idiotic bully wife. Nope. Not the asshole. You didn't even know what color to wear. Sounds like she and her friends haven't changes their mean girl ways. Also sounds like your family is toxic to enable such behavior. Not the asshole. There is no rule about not wearing the same color as the bridesmaids especially a color as common as navy. If they didn't want it to happen, they should have made it a rule. FFs, everyone in this wedding sucks, including your mother. Not the asshole people are so weird about weddings. What were you supposed to change into? A plastic bag. Navy is a very common color for gowns because it suits most skin tones so many people have navy dresses and I'm surprised you were the only one. It's not a common bridesmaid dress color even. Not the asshole if she wanted to claim a color other than white she should have said so. I imagine other people at the wedding were wearing a color as popular as navy, for black tie. I'm confused. How were you supposed to change when you were at a formal event hours from home? It sounds like the thing you were being asked to do was literally impossible. Your only actual real life options were to stay or to leave. You did not do this on purpose and they behaved like asshole bullies. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Very sorry your brother married such a poisonous person, and family let you down too. Sounds like Sill will be a lifelong problem and also a corrupting influence on family you care about. Glad you live three hours away from her. Not the asshole I once wore a dress almost identical to the bridesmaids. Everyone survived. Turns out they're still the mean girls. Not the asshole. Who honestly cares that much? Were you in any of the photographs even? I don't care about weddings so maybe my opinion doesn't work here. Am I the asshole I didn't want to give my seat to a pregnant woman? I was at a party with my whole family and some friends and there weren't enough sofas there, there were chairs but the chairs were very uncomfortable especially for a pregnant woman. I managed to find a sofa and sat down. 
A few minutes later my aunt, S., who is pregnant arrived. I looked around to see if there is any empty sofa or if I should give her mine but then I saw that there is another empty sofa next to my mom so I sat down. Well S came inside. I thought she was gonna sit on the empty sofa. My mom was also calling her asking her to sit there next to her because she wanted to tell her STH but she walked right past the sofa stood in front of me and just stared at me. I knew that she was waiting for me to give her my seat but I didn't want to because. 1. There was an empty one she didn't need mine. 2. My mom was calling her telling her to sit on the empty sofa next to her. I thought that was pretty rude of her to ignore my mom like that. 3. She didn't ask. I would give it to her but I exacted her to at least say STH. She didn't even say hi I think. She just stared. Why couldn't she say? Hey give me your seat, and then I would do it. 4. I was talking to the person who was sitting next to me. We were in the middle of a conversation. So I ignored her. A few minutes passed while I was totally ignoring her and she was staring and then someone yelled at me, can't you see she is waiting? And a few other family members started scolding me and calling me a nasshole so I gave it to her and decided to leave early. I don't think I am the asshole but our family seems to think I am. So am I the asshole? Info that you might need. I was the youngest person there that's why she expected me to give her my seat and also apparently she wanted to sit next to her friend, who was sitting next to me. You should ask your family if it's common that pregnant women in your family go mute and unable to show basic politeness. Not the asshole. I would have stared back, finally going, what? So I ignored her. A few minutes passed while I was totally ignoring her and she was staring and then someone yelled at me, can't you see she is waiting? You. Why do people do this dumb shit? Why not just ask like an adult? Not the asshole. There were other available seats that she could have sat in. I am guessing you were one of the youngest people sitting on a sofa and it was a power play. There is no other reason for her to act so entitled. Not the asshole and honestly if she really needed to sit she would have. When I was four months pregnant with my first child I wasn't showing much but I was exhausted and I just sat down on the floor of a crowded train because that was my only option. Your aunt was concerned with power, not pregnancy. Not the asshole. There was another seat, and she could communicate like all normal people. Nope, not the asshole. She had an available seat. She also decided to stand there passive aggressively instead of using her voice to ask for your seat, which makes her a double asshole. See, I've been pregnant a few times, and while it does have some mild perks, aside from the reward at the end, like dibs on seating, great power comes with great responsibility, and your aunt is abusing her power. And literally the rest of your family is assholes too. Not the asshole. Being pregnant doesn't give her a pass to not be polite. You being young doesn't give her a fast pass for being rude. Fuck her. Not the asshole. I don't care about any of the other details. No one should just stand in front of you and stare. It's incredibly rude and should not be rewarded. I only wish you had replied to the other rude person who yelled, Can't you see she's waiting, with, waiting for what? She hasn't said a word. Sorry this happened to you. Am I the asshole for reporting my neighbor for illegally building a lift for his disabled son? So over the last year or so the neighbors that live across from us have been really difficult to deal with. I live with an apartment building that's across the street from their house. I live with my parents, but not really. My parents had a really big apartment that had two levels and they split it into two smaller apartments and I pay them rent to live in the upper one. The first interaction I had with these neighbors or the dad at least, I said hi to him when they just moved in and he just looked at me and walked away down the street. I jokingly said, that's okay, you're in a hurry, and he got mad and told me how he doesn't have to talk to a little girl with pink hair and how I'm disrespectful. I told him I'm 23 actually and just kinda brushed it off. Him and his wife continued being dicks from there. Last year he was backing out and hit my dad's car. They filled out the report and signed and he gave my dad a pen to sign with that my dad mistakenly took. And they both forgot about because of what was happening. He later kept harassing my dad over the pen. Saying that that's a special pen that his dead father gave him. My dad totally forgot about it and misplaced it which he apologized for but the guy wanted it back bad. At which point I confronted him and told him that uh, he hit my dad's car and now he's harassing him about a pen and b. If it was such a special pen he should have never given it to him. He stopped after that. They have a disabled son that's I think 19 years old, he's in a wheelchair. Last weekend they were having some kind of outside lift put in for the son because they live in a three-level house. They were doing it at 7.30 a.m. on a Saturday as I was walking my dog. 
and I was just kinda looking at what they were doing. For no particular reason. I was slightly annoyed that they were being loud that early on a Saturday because they're always loud. But I didn't say anything. They looked at me and said, what? What do you want? Are you confused? I said, oh, nothing, but when I went home I reported them for building it. Because in our city you need a permit to build anything outside your house, especially on our street. And I assumed they didn't get it because no one gets them approved. And I was right. I saw them taking it down the other day and I heard they got a pretty big ticket. They're talking about how they'll find out who reported them and how that someone's heartless. What do you think? Am I the asshole for doing this? Not like it's their son's fault? Edit. For some context. 1. These were the only interactions we had and in between them I did nothing but ignore them. 2. The pen he gave my dad to sign with was a regular black metal pen and the guy was insanely rude the first time he asked for it back. 3. My parents did get the right permits to split the apartment, my mom is a lawyer. 4. This isn't a low-income family, they're upper middle class. These replies so far have been interesting. Mostly saying I'm the asshole, looking like it's 70-30. Which I totally get. I'll give my input as to how I perceived what was happening. From my personal perspective, and I have been very honest about the interactions. I don't know if anyone here has ever been to the UK or anywhere else in Europe, but saying hi to your neighbors and other people you see on a regular basis is common courtesy. I greeted him like I would anyone else. He chose to look me in the eye and walk away. That's a clear dick move and disrespectful so I made a sarcastic comment. It's how I operate. He was able to reply to that, but not the high. The car and pen situation. He reported it, that's true. I don't know if he would have done the same if there weren't people around, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. In my opinion if the pen was so valuable he should have never given it to my dad. Pens are so easy to misplace. And when someone hits your relatively expensive car the last thing you're thinking about is a random pen. My dad apologized for losing it like I already stated because he didn't know it was valuable, but the guy was aggressive about it because he was so upset. So it's not me not minding my business if someone's aggressive with my 55-year-old dad who couldn't be nicer. And lastly it wasn't a ramp, it was a lift on the side of the house. If they hadn't randomly attacked me for looking at them I wouldn't have reported them. And as for the son, in my opinion if they're so concerned about him they shouldn't have gotten a three-level house, not counting the basement. I don't know how long he's been like that, but seems like something they should have thought of. He didn't have a lift for a year and in my mind I was hurting the parents financially by letting them finish it and then having to take it down and pay a ticket which they can afford. People here are acting like I put him in the wheelchair or like he's bound to be carried forever. This wasn't his one and only opportunity to have a lift. So while I'll accept that most commenters think I'm the asshole, I'm still on the fence about it myself. I started this topic because of a discussion I had with my best friend and roommate who lives with me and two of my cousins and opinions were very much split. You are the asshole. Just because they're dicks to you and I get it, I really do. I have dickhead neighbors myself. But, to spite the disabled guy is just wrong. Yeah, okay it's not allowed, but it's not like it's some monstrous extension, it's a lift for a disabled person. Spiting that poor lad just because you don't like the parents. Maybe they're like that because of people like you. Edit. I hope you realize that they now have to carry their son up three levels. He's 19. I'm gonna bet he's not exactly a tiny teen. I really feel for the parents. I genuinely can't get over how spiteful it is to him. So sad. No wonder they're dicks to people. Edit 2. Thanks for the silver. You're all assholes. Honestly I get how annoying and petty they are. If they were building a gazebo for a hot tub or something, I'd say hit M with the report. But seeing as it's not that disabled kid's fault his parents are shitheads, there was no need to hurt him in a sort of collateral damage type of way. Esh. Yes, they are dicks, but now their disabled son is the victim of your revenge. The first time you met him, you got offended that he didn't respond to you when you said something to him. Next, you got offended, in a situation that didn't involve you at all. Because your dad took something from him and lost it. Finally, you were staring at them while they were doing something on their own property and he asked what you wanted. Personally, I would have been sarcastic with you, too. You have a clear history of being a jerk to your neighbor cause he committed the crime of not saying hi to you on the street one time. You didn't report him for some noble law-abiding mindset. You reported him because you're petty and mad he didn't give you the attention you so desperately crave. Yeah, you are the asshole. Edit. Wow. Thank you all for the awards. You are the asshole. Grow up.
You just took your spite out on an innocent third party who is disabled. Hope you're proud. You are the asshole because what you did was retaliatory and out of spite. It didn't harm the people pissing you off nearly as much as it harmed the innocent person in all of this, the son. Everyone kind of sucks in this situation, except the neighbor's son, but you are the asshole and doing that was petty AF. You stooped to their level, and went even lower, instead of rising above and being the bigger person. If you don't enjoy interacting with them, just don't interact with them. Edit. You are the asshole. The worst offense you have described is that the man was not polite or courteous to you the first time you greeted him. The car accident was an accident. You can't act like he did that in purpose. It is a little strange that your dad didn't hand the pen back to the guy immediately and then, misplaced, it and kind of an asshole move. If this pen was an heirloom it's unlikely it was a disposable bick. It was probably a nice pen and your dad pocketed it which seems an obvious asshole move. He literally took something that didn't belong to him and lost it. That's theft. And the lift sounds necessary. Why do you want to make life more difficult for people who already have it harder than you? I just am really struggling to see where they did anything really wrong to you.